मन सब टेक्सट आई ये देखें मोबाइले देखें अपनारा ग्रुपे देव आट्स गो फर इट सो उर रिडिंग द रम अफ द एनशियंट मैरिनार रिटर्न बामल टेलर कल रिज वे स्टार्टिंग उथ द पार्ट वन इट्स एन एनशियंट मैरिनार एंड हि स्टप वन अफ थ्री हि स्टप वन अफ थ्री सी द नम्बर्स one of 3 why it's not one of 4 why it's not one of 6 3 no not infinity it it has some because uh have you see the uh like when some some does magic spell like black magic they do it for three times and they will say you that you know what you have to do this three times seven times because they believe that this 3 and 7 these are magical numbers these are what magical, magical number this has some this has some uh religious and supernatural powers 3 7 40 these three numbers are really really significant and we the, uh, we don't know but we don't believe like whether it's unlucky or lucky but we never know actually even if you dive into the ocean just to investigate why it's 3 why it's 7 or why it's 40 there is no answer probably that we are following just we are following the tradition how we are following the tradition we are following the tradition of like when it says that 3 3 means like ancestors used to do 3 times so i'm doing it 3 times ancestors used to do 7 times so i'm doing it 7 times and sisters used to do it 40 times so i'm doing it 40 times but we don't have that answer why and when we look for the answer why the answer comes that there is no answer okay so it says that it's an ancient mariner underline this line it's an ancient mariner and he stopped with one of three by that long gray beard and glittering eye how does the old man looks like he has got a long gray beard just try to just imagine that someone comes to you with a long beard and his eyes are glittering his eyes are what glittering, glittering. he wants to say you something why is it glittering eyes because when the eyes are glittering it means that he's someone he's someone not like normal people he's someone special and his eyes now the next line will be saying that he can cast a magic spell on you he'll do a magic on you like when you look hey walula look at the phone he'll cast a magic spell on you like when he look at your eyes if you look at his eyes is something like you are being possessed you are being what possessed have you seen that even in the movies if someone wants to possess you at first he looks at your eyes right and then dramatically start to change <laughs> so the eyes why its eyes why people look at your eyes at first because it is the only identifier that it's because it's like if if people want to take you to an infatuation or a hallucination or want to cast a magic spell on you the very first thing is that they it sounds something like uh, they want to control you with the eyes and you exactly do the same thing whatever he says so the eyes are one of the most powerful thing the elements that human being possess if you want to possess someone it says look at my eyes choke choke on a kichu hoye jay ar ki erokom kichu ar ki okay now why why for stops thou mean now why for means why it means why for mane ki why so she ki bolche dekhen ami jodi abar ektu banglay chole jai by the long gray beard and glittering eye now what for stops thou me now one of three there are three people but he two he he had chosen only one and he just hold his hand and he says stop and other guy is thinking why did he make me stop The bright rooms doors are open wide and I'm next of kin the guests are met the feast is set mess here the merry din How many people were there so right now the old man and there were three people right he stopped one 
And what are the people are doing here? There was a party going on. There's a marriage going on. And they are the guests. And they came here for the invitation. They are, they are going to just, you know, enjoy the feast. That's why they are in the program. But this old guy suddenly stopped one. And he says, they stop here. And I want to say you something. And the young boy is saying that he looked into my eyes. And as if I'm possessed. And I start to listen to him. Now go to the next page. I'll make you understand in Bangla after I'm finished in English. He holds him with his skinny hand. How does his hand look like? Skinny. skinny. Very much skinny. And what he says, he says, there was a sheep. Hold off. Unhand me, grey beard loon. If soon his hand dropped he. When he just, you know, just catches the hand of the young boy, the young boy says, leave me alone. I don't want to be with you. And he says that, he gives a, you know, he uses a slang here, loon. Have you seen the word? Hmm. If you want to use the slang, you can use it. It's an educated slang. <laughs> it's a very, you know, smart slang. Yes, loo. Okay. Lou. Lou means rascal. If you say the rascal, people will understand. You know, he called me rascal. But if you say, you're Lou, then he said that. Okay, we are Fred, Fred, Fred. <laughs> okay, ever since his hand dropped he, he holds him with his glittering eye. How did he hold him? This time with not the hand. With what? Eyes. Glittering eyes. The wedding guest stood still and listens like a three-year child. The mariner has his will. What he's doing actually? The wedding guest stood still. Who is the wedding guest? That one of three. He's standing and listens like a three-year child. How does he listen? Like a three-year child. The mariner has his will. And mariner fulfills his wish. How? With whom? With this, old, uh, with this young boy, right? And the young boy starts to behave like what? Three-year baby, three-year-old baby. He starts to listen to everything. The wedding guest sat on a stone, he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, the bright uh, mariner. And what did he sit? On a stone. Have you seen? Now, why is he saying that? Why is he using a stone? Because just to bring the supernatural elements, when there is a stone, like if you say he sat on a black stone, it creates an atmosphere of something uh, ghostly is happening. Then he said, what he cannot choose but hear and thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The bright-eyed mariner. The ship was sheared, the harbor cleared, merrily did we draw below the cart. Cart means church. Cart means what? Church. What is your phone? Cart means what? Church. 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 Below the hill, below the lighthouse top, the sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea, higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon, the wedding guest here beast, beat his breast, for the herd, the loud bassoon. The bride has passed into the hall, red as a rose is she, nodding their heads before her goes the Mary. The Mary means treadlesy. Look at the thing right now. It means baddo jantro. Jakhon music goes on and anondo hotche, but oi manush ta kar The young boy, he is just sitting with the mariner. It's something like imagine yourself. Just think, you are in a party, okay? Your sister is getting married, and someone calls you back, and he holds his hand, and the marriage is going on. But still, you are busy with what? The old guy who has to tell you something. And you become that much subjugated that you start to listen to him. And you're not attending the marriage. You're just listening to him. Something like you're being paused. The mariner is doing whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants with you. It happens sometimes, right? Sometimes we say that, you know, why are you doing like that? Because you say that, you know, I'm going to do because he says me to do that. Sometimes we as a human being, we get pauses too. 
I know that you are not getting that, uh, getting the concept actually. What's going on, Mr. Akib? Looks like you know, uh, he never heard of English before. Let me start from the beginning. It's an ancient mariner. He's saying what? It's an it's an ancient mariner. So uh, just try to just. Why he's not saying that old mariner? He could have said the old mariner, right? Why is he using the ancient mariner? Huh? No. Ancient gives you uh, it gives you an antique look. When you say that there was a time, long, long time, there was an ancient time. Like it gives you, a, it takes you back to past history. Can you remember that one of the most element, element of the romantic is what? Getting back into the past, right? This is, yeah, so this is one of the element of romanticism. Getting back into the past, okay. Can you remember those lines? Illusion has a past? Yes, sir. What was that line? Illusion has a past. So Mr. Samuel Taylor Coleridge is writing the poem, but when he writes the poem, he brings the illusion, right? Because we know that there was no ancient man. We know that there was no young man. But why is he just taking you back to that young man and to that ancient guy? Long, long time ago, there was an old guy who was a magician, who was, you know, a genius who can control the human soul. Have you read the Dr. Foster's? Yes, sir. Have you read it? Yes, sir. So Dr. Foster's was written in the motto of, in the vision of Renaissance. Have you read the Dr. Foster's, really? Yes. Okay, so what, what happens in the Dr. Foster's? You find that the magic takes place. You find that the souls are being sold. You find that uh, he can control the unnatural, the supernatural elements. He can do whatever he wants, right? Who? Dr. Foster's. So it's very true that, uh, and do you believe that the black magic exists? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, do you believe that there are some supernatural elements that roam around us? Yes, sir. No, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, because uh, do, do you believe that the gene exists? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It has to exist because uh, it's very true that before, before God has created human beings, God has created what? Gene. And every time you read the Quran, even in the Bible, the very first thing God will be saying you, that at first it comes jinn, then the name of the human comes. Because the jinn was the very first creation of God. So jinn is something like you cannot see the genes, right? Can we see the genes? No, we cannot see the genes. Why? Because the meaning of the genes mean it came from the jana, it means the unseen. We cannot see it. So God will balance you in the hereafter. You will see the genes, but the genes will not see you in the hereafter. It is going to be a balance for you. And sometimes you know what the genes you know play with you <laughs> and you don't see that uh, he, he sometimes tickles you on your back huh? sometimes the gene tickles on your back and you feel like who is doing that <laughs> huh? There's something I think I, I, I don't know like whether it exists within you or not, but whether you believe in uh, or not, but it exists. It has to exist because you know uh, on the day of judgment, both the community, genes and the human beings, uh, the hereafter is for the genes and the human beings. They will be uh, they will be accountable too, and the human beings are too. They will be accountable as well. So it exists. The black magic exists. People do black magic. Uh, and how do they do the black magic? Dr. Foster's, I know that there are so many incidents that you're not going to believe in Dr. Foster's. That how he sold his life to the uh, souls, to the devil. But it happens when the black magicians, those who perform, especially it came from the German culture, it's known as Gothic. So the, uh, have you ever noticed that? The, all the magicians, they were black dresses yes, sir. they wear red dresses apps pure red everything is red 
and when they perform the black magic the very first thing they do is like uh, they take devil as their god this is what dr foster had done as well what did dr foster do he sold his soul to the devil lucifer right the same thing when you take lucifer as your god then you find that yeah, the lucifer and then the, what did the lucifer do actually he gifted you so many powers you can go wherever you want you can and, and what did dr foster do he committed all the possible sins that a human being can commit on this earth right he did every possible thing every kind of scenes he committed who dr fosters so when you are have you seen that there are some notice uh, even in the street uh, uh, like huh no 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 it says that it says that shami sri ramil it says that apni ki chintito <laughs> so you have you seen that yes sir. have you seen that like these are the notice so when you go to this guy you find that he sits in a dark room yes sir yes sir yes sir have you visited <laughs> uh, he sits in the dark room and you find that he has got long beard you can't even see his full face because of the weight of the beard and you see that you know some lighting and the candles are going on the candles are lighting up and he has something on his neck and it is all right and when you go when you go he exactly tells you everything why did you come here and you say oh my goodness he knows everything and you just and you just submit uh, you, you just submit yourself to him right right and he say that okay Baba you know what I used to love a girl <laughs> you just need to give a ban they, they call it the ban meredive they call it ban right in in our it's called actually uh, not git tomorrow uh, so they, they call it like they'll give you a git to okay and then he'll be saying it okay contract was the contract like uh, within s seven days uh, the girl the girl will be feed up for you don't worry <laughs> and he start uh, you, you start counting and you say that he'll be saying that se these numbers seven days 40 days he'll be using the same numbers he is not going to use those you know uh, 30 days at Masher Vitore no he's going to use the he'll be saying 120 days 40 days seven days 70 days three days they're going to use the same number they're they're very much clever as well so the ancient mariner he's going to do the same thing but how did he achieve this power that is the story actually how did he get this power actually why and why is he holding the hand of a young guy why exactly because he wants and let me tell you that uh, the, this old mariner is being burdened with a scene actually and it's very interesting if he doesn't share the story then he feels like there is something on his body something heavy on his body and he can move actually because he committed a sin and he feels like there is something on his neck and he can't move on so when he shares this story he feels like it's free that's why but and the condition is that you cannot share this story with the, with the old people you have to share the story with the young people with what the young people and it's not the all the young people you have to find out who would be the best customer for it and then you can narrate the story and the old man is not narrating the story because the story itself is beautiful he's narrating the story because he wants to get rid of the burden that is on his shoulder you get it that's the reason and that's why even 
Now come to that theory. When Socrates was dead, Socrates was being forced to commit suicide. Who was there with him? Plato, man. Who was there with him? Plato. And how old was he? 13 to 14 years old. And Socrates had the vision, same vision, the target the young people. Because if you want to convey the message, then you need to target the young people. Same thing. After Copernicus, when he was dead, he was sentenced to death, who started to convey his message? He's a student. He was a young guy. Same thing. And that's why you always hold the hand of the young people and you want to share the message. Even in the, even everywhere you go, people trust on the young shoulders rather than the old shoulders. Why? Trust. And they believe they will sustain a long life and they'll give you, they'll, they'll give you the, you know, the better results, believing. The old is all about the experience. This old guy, the old mariner is all about what? experience and if you want to share the experience you are not going to share the experience with an young uh, with an old guy because you are going to share the experience with an young guy that's the reason but anyway so can you just stop the recording